Okay, <clears throat> we've got a, another review here, and this is a GAN 260 watt charging station. So this is the uh, power supply that I'll be using with the um, soldering setup and pretty much with any, uh, any tests that I have requiring power. So this will kind of be a uniform type deal. It supports, as you see, PD 3.1 and QC 3.0. Uh, plus it uh, supports wireless charging on top, which is kind of cool. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. I swear this thing weighs like probably two or three pounds. Um, and you see it's got two uh, USB-A ports, QC 3.0. Then it's got uh, two uh, USB-C ports, which is PD 100 watt. And then it's got a single uh, USB-C that's 140 watt, uh, PD 3.1. So <clears throat> we're going to kind of take this and hook it up and try it out. We're going to uh, try it out with this cord that, of course, this came from Timu. And uh, so did this cord, and it's supposed to be a 100-watt cord. Um, so I'm, I won't be able to test out the PD 3.1. Uh, I don't really see a use for it or a need for it. I'll get a cord if I have something that, that really needs that. Uh, I'm going to use the TS-101 as a test soldering iron to uh, plug into this power supply and uh, see what it can do. <clears throat> Plus, we'll find out for sure if this is actually as good as it's rated for. It's good, solid, it feels like silicone rubber, uh, almost like real good uh, uh, digital multimeter leads. And uh, this is all metal. Yes, awesome. I was hoping that it would just be a cord plugging in, that it wouldn't be a uh, Walwart that had to be plugged in because those are kind of aggravating in a confined space to try to get plugged in and, and use. And so the power plug is, is of course, a uh, it is a unkeyed universal uh, standard uh, laptop plug. You can plug it in either way. It doesn't matter. Either way it'll fit and plug in. And of course here on top is the uh, charging um, or the wireless charging. Uh, let's, let's just get this thing plugged in. And there, of course, showing each port. So let's start off with wireless charging. Doesn't seem to be able to get through that particular case. Let's try my work phone. And it's charging. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the uh, lightning indicator that it is charging. Okay, and so on the front panel, there's no display that's showing that it, the phone is charging. So, just to uh, kind of give you an example, let's let's plug this in. We're just going to plug straight into the uh, 140 watt. Uh, PD 3.1 which it will basically go to what the, the cord actually is and this is not 140 watt it's the one that came with the TS uh, 101 so 
it's going to be I think a 65 possibly a uh, no nah, it's going to be a 65 okay so I don't know if you can see the display but this display right here it's uh, when I push this to show that uh, or to start it to heating it's going to show the voltage the amperage and the wattage and then once this reaches temperature and it's no longer drawing any amps this will go back to zero it's only giving you a, a output signal or it's only showing you numbers while it's actually have uh, it's actually drawing a uh, amperage from this charger so here we go let's start it to heating so it's, see there 20 volts one half amp 10 watts it's jumped up to 60 watts 3 amps 20 volts which 3 amps I think is the max on there so we've hit 300 that's going back to zero because we've hit 300 and it's no longer calling for a load so let's take and jump this up to the next level presets 350 so here we go again 20 well it's already hit the 350 so let's just jump this thing up to 400 alright so 400 celsius when it starts heating there we go 20 volts 1 half amp 10 watts and she's still going now it's jumped up 3 amps 20 volts and 60 watts and 400 and you see it shut down so it's uh, I kinda like it which okay I set it on that drill bit so that uh, cooled it down so that's why it fired back up again so uh, anyway uh, I think this is going to be a pretty nice power supply let's kinda explain those specs that I had given to you earlier uh, so if you see here you've got U, uh, USB A1 A2 and the specs on the USB A1 A2 is 12 plus 12 watts so you got 12 watts here 12 watts here are on any individual one 24 watts uh, QI output 15 watts 10 watts seven and a half and five watts so your specs up here USB A1 USB A2 support QC 3.0 and of course here's the voltages that I showed you up to 22 and a half watts then uh, here we go with uh, type 2 and type uh, 3 which is here you've got 45 watts plus 45 watts so if I've got two devices plugged into here it's uh, 45 watts of, uh, individually but in any single port it's 100 watts that I'll be drawing on that or up to a hundred watts max uh, and of course you know this one is kind of self-explanatory PD 3.1 is up to 140 watts on the single the single output uh, so all in all I think this is going to be a pretty nice uh, power supply uh, I really like the the being able to shut the display off and back on again let's see something let's plug the display in plug it back into here um, and turn the display off and yes so it's heating and the display is off and of course it's on it's off so that's nice uh, if you don't want the display showing up you can actually dim the display or turn the display off while you're actually still uh, regulating the temperature in here and so we should see that probably kick out here see there it goes it's still 20 volts but now it's popped in so it's it's fluctuating in and out as it's regulating the temperature at 300 celsius so you can kind of watch how uh, how your device is drawing and and i think that's pretty nice uh to be able to see that digital display to see whatever device it is that you have that's plugged into there uh, how it's actually drawing the power using the power supply so that's a pretty good feature